this is Sam, and I want to introduce you to the part of my series about laminitis and goats and founder and how we can make them more comfortable. Especially goats with chronic founder, they can be uncomfortable with bearing weight on the feet. So one treatment is to add pads in order to give a little bit of cushioning to the sole because often with founder, the foot will rotate from here to downwards, causing thinning on the sole. So when we give padding, this makes them more comfortable. So the first thing I'm going to do before we add the pads is I'm going to trim our feet. So you want to make sure that we trim the feet flat. And if you're not quite sure how to trim feet, you can refer to a video that shows you how to do just that. I can do this right. Come here. Down. Good girl. Good girl. So now we're going to start with putting on the pad. I like to use Kiwi Refreshing Soles because the top of the sole helps to keep the foot dry and the bottom is a nice soft styrofoam pad. You see this, keeps the, this helps keep the foot dry because a thing that we worry about when we put these pads on is hoof rot, which is caused by a lot of buildup of moisture. So by keeping the moisture off of the foot, we effectively protect it from any foot rot. But you should always check your pads regularly and remove them every two to three days. So the second way that we do this is we're going to cut the pads so that we can fit them onto the hoof. We'll try to cut them in the general shape. Now these pads will be too short, but I just want to show you fitting them and how it works. So when you fit the pad, you're going to put the pad up on the hook. And you can see here how the pad is too short and the pad doesn't fit. So we're going to cut two more pieces that are a little bit longer and fit more properly. just getting comfortable here. Now this pad fits more properly. It covers the whole hoof and the excess will be trimmed in a little bit. So our second step is to apply human nail glue. 
the type of glue that holds fake nails on people. We're going to apply this generally, generously all over the hoof, or all, all over the sole, I should say, I'm sorry. All over the sole of the foot. Then we come in, and we're going to place our pad right on top of it. And we're going to press firmly, just about the same way that we would do with human nails, if you have any experience with putting those on. And yes, sometimes you will get stuff on you, it's okay. It washes off. And now we're going to trim it into shape so that it will conform with the foot. Perfect. Can we get a close up on that? You see how it conforms perfectly with the bottom of the hoof. I need to trim off a little bit more here. We can get it. There we go. And that's how it should be. Now we're just going to repeat with the other foot. And then we will put on her booty. Now this foot I know is not trim trimmed all that properly. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this tomorrow. Just let you guys know. Because I just think that she's getting a little bit tired of sitting here. Now we're pretty much done, and I like to buy little, like little dog booties like this. They're just going to cover and protect the foot to keep the pads on. So I'm going to expand it. Where do you get the booties at? You can get them at like PetSmart and places like that, or off online anywhere really. You can even use human baby socks, but I like this because it has a little bit extra padding for some gripping. Dorothea, think, no, give me your foot. Ah. Come on, the box. Okay, I won't touch it then. Come here, honey, please. Let me put your foot down. I, I promise I'm not going to cut any more of your foot. There we go. Okay, and I like to position this so that it will be on the bottom of the foot. If you don't get it on the bottom of the foot, if you have socks like this, it's fine. It's just my preference. And then usually you're going to take a little piece of white tape and put it around her leg, but I'm going to do that outside. Just a thin piece of white surgical tape or electrical tape. Put loosely around here so it does not cut off circulation. We'll take care of this, and then you will fold it over the tape. But I do have her other foot to show you as an example. If you want to get a close up on where I set the tape, just in a nice round ring, just like that. And I just tucked it over. Okay, so she is all set and ready to go. And that'll be